I would write with our uh, channels and uh, MQ administration command. Okay. So uh, we would. See, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Are you able to see now, Aditi? So we yesterday what were our topic? We discussed different types of queues. Okay, queues defined were predefined and dynamic queues. In predefined queues, what all were the types of queue? Local queue, remote queue, model queue, alias queue. Then what were the different types of uh, local queues that we discussed yesterday? We discussed transmission queue. Transmission queue, dead letter queue, and initiation queue. Okay. So that were queues. What were queues? It was a logical, it is, a, it is used to store messages. Okay. And it uses FIFO system. Okay. <clears throat> now we saw the storage part. <clears throat> okay. Now we would see what is the communication part. Okay. How do different systems communicate to each other. Okay, we, have, we discussed about storage. Okay, that is used, that is done through channels. Okay, what is a channel? It is a communication link, right? It is a path. Okay, uh, so if Citibank is communicating with HSBC, okay, it needs a communication link between city and HSBC back. Okay, how does the communication link happen? That is through channels. Okay, channels are nothing but communication link. There are two broad classification of channels. One is message channel and other one is MQI channel. Okay, what is a message channel? Message channels are channels or communication link that will only carry messages. Okay, this will only carry messages. Important thing is that they will either, they are unidirectional. They will either send message, okay, or they will either receive message. It is not bidirectional. They cannot both send and receive through the same channel. Either there will be one channel to send message, then there will be another channel to receive message. Okay, understood what is message channel? They message channels are channels used to send or receive messages. Okay, they will only transfer messages. Okay, now we would see what is MQI channel. MQI channel is also called message queue interface channel. Okay. When the term interface comes, it is in this channel is in between something. Okay, what is this MQI channels? Okay, I told you what is message and message channels uh, will only send and receive messages. Okay, but MQI channels are coming where it comes in between application and your queue manager. Okay, so what it will do? It will take calls from application and give it to queue manager and it will give the rest it will take the responses back from queue manager and give it back to application okay so it is a bi-directional channel okay it will it will take message mq calls from application to queue manager and vice versa it will take responses from queue manager and give it back to application okay Understood what is the difference between a message channel and an MQI channel? Oh, so, uh, Rekha, both, uh, both do the same work. But one is directional, one is unidirectional. Uh, bidirectional and another one is unidirectional. Uh, yes, in a way you are correct, but not exactly. MQI channels are not actually... Uh, sending or receiving messages it is a uh, it is uh, it is sending and receive mq api calls okay there are calls application will issue a 
connect call to queue manager. Okay, that will be taken from that will be put into the MQA channel and it will give to queue manager saying that this application wants to connect. Okay, the response back if it was successfully able to connect, the response back from queue manager is given to application. It does not trans the actual message. We don't write message. What is the uh, format of a message? Those messages are actually transferred by your message channel, not MQA. MQA channel is MQ interface. So it will it, it is bi bidirectional, but it will and it will send and receive messages. When I say this message is different, not the message that we talked about. Message means it will send and receive MQI calls. Okay, what are the MQA calls? Like how to connect to a queue manager if I have to put a message to a queue manager to a queue. Okay, these are all application interacts with MQ software with some calls. Okay, these are transferred through MQI channels, not actual message. Understand what is the difference? Yeah, Rekha. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we would see what are the different types of message channels. Okay. In uh, MQ, you have broadly, uh, yeah. Uh, a brief clarification I need is the MQA channel. Huh? In theory, what, hap what happens with MQA channel? You want me to repeat so, that? No, no, I'm just uh, clarify uh, that. Mm, like, uh, it's also sending and receiving. So, what is the difference between the both? That's what I was telling, right? That is not sending and receiving messages. It is sending and receiving MQ API calls. Message channel is inside your MQ software and you will be used to communicate between external parties. So, CT and HSBC is communicating. Okay. In that, your message channel will come to communicate between as a communication link between city and HSPC. Okay. Where MQI channel comes will come for in, in within city bank. Okay, you have city bank application. City bank application wants to connect to city bank queue manager. Okay. At okay. that point where application connects to queue manager, that is where your MQI channel is coming. Okay, so MQ channels is in between your application. It actually connects your application to your queue manager. Okay, message channel okay. will is actually between external connectivity. Hmm. And also um. MQ channels is actually take sending and receiving, not message. It is taking API call. Okay. I told you application will first connect to queue manager. So that an application will issue a MQ connect call. We will see the different type of API calls in our uh, later sessions. Okay. It will issue a MQ connect. That is taken, that is that call is sent through your MQI channel. Okay. The response back, if it was able to successfully connect, this connection is successful. If it is not successful, the response is also sent back through the same MQA channel to application. Understand what is the difference? Okay. Okay. So there are two types. Uh, there are mainly six types of message channels. Different types of uh, message channels are available. Okay. First one is I told you message channels transfer messages. Okay, and they are unidirectional, either sent or received. Okay. So first classic combination that you will see is first is your sender channel. What as the name suggests, what is sender channel? Sender channel is used to send message. Okay, then you have receiver channel. What is receiver channel? It is used to receive message. Okay, understand what is sender and receiver. Okay. Then you have server channel and requester channel. Okay. Sender channel you understood, receiver channel you understood. Sender channel will send 
the fever channel will receive messages. What is server channel? Server channel is also similar to a sender channel. It is used to send messages. Okay, but only this channel, this type of channel cannot initiate a connection on its own. Okay, it cannot initiate a connection on its own. Someone has to ask, okay, give me message, then only it will send message. Okay, sender channel will automatically initiate a connection. If, suppose you are using a sender channel between Citibank and HSBC, you have a sender channel. Okay, sender channel will automatically initiate that connection between Citi and HSBC. Okay, instead of sender channel, you are using server channel. What will happen? It will be there. Message will be there. HS, some HSBC side has to come and say to the server channel, see, give me some message. Then only it will send a message. Okay. As of now, just understand this. There is nothing uh, that is so complicated. Okay. Now you will see a requester channel. Requester channel is also like receiver channel. It is used to receive message. Okay. But only one thing. Same difference as we told in server and requester. Receiver channel is passive mode. It will only receive message. It will not initiate any connection. But requester channel has the ability to initiate a connection and say, okay, I want to receive message. You send me message. Okay. Cluster sender, cluster receiver. Okay. It's the same. But we will see when...